Hello everybody, this is Toronto, and today we are going to do my first unboxing. This is really rough. I just found this camera and decided to start this out. But believe me, in the future these will be much better. Today we're looking at the February, this is late, uh, Nerd Block and Horror Block. I just got on this subscription. I've been a Loot Crate subscription for over a year. But these have, I put, looked this one up and it interests me a great deal. Uh, basically, this nerd block, as you can see, uh, it's a monthly subscription, but it's actually, I believe, six different monthly description uh, subscriptions. Sorry, and you can change month to month, and they have like a, a nerd block, which is the classic. And then they have a sci-fi block, and they have an arcade block, and they have a horror block, which is the other one I have, and that they have a, a, an anime block, and and they even have blocks for kids. They have a, a, a girls and a boys uh, nerd block junior, and uh, it's very cool. I love that kind of uh, the ability to change what you want to do. Uh, it's it's very interesting, and I, I've been debating since I got these, uh, what I wanted to do for the month of March, uh, whether I wanted to do uh, another classic block, which is this one, or if I wanted to do the horror block, which is this one, both of which were awesome. Uh, in the future, I am going to try out the sci-fi block and the uh, arcade block. Uh, I like anime okay, but not enough to really just get a whole box of it. So, uh, anyway, let's get started. I'm going to start with the nerd block. All right, so oh, the best thing about these, uh, they also always come with a t-shirt, and the t-shirts go up to 4x, which is much better than um, a, a Loot Crate, because Loot Crate, half the time you'll get a shirt, and, and it, I, I'm a big guy, uh, and I'll show my face at a later time, and everything else, but I'm a big guy, and I wear a 3x shirt normally, but the problem with the 3x shirt is you have to uh, worry about it. A shrinking in the wash or anything else which is great with a 4x because you buy a 4x shirt you have a nice shirt and if it shrinks uh, a little bit you're, you're still covered so anyway this is nerd block for fe february and right off the bat of course because that is so cool because it's uh you know deadpool came out in february which i loved i've been a deadpool fan since he came out in new mutants uh, I actually have New Mutants number 98, which is amazing. That is a great t-shirt. I can't wait to wear that. Okay. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go go see it. Don't take your kids. Don't be that guy. All right. What else we have here? We have... <laughs> All right. Uh, we have a plush Deadpool, and that may go to work with me, and I don't care. That's awesome. And we have a Nerd Block exclusive. It's a wine stopper. That is a Super Mario Mushroom. That is amazing. Uh, I I don't like wine a lot. My wife loves wine. Uh, and uh, she'll get a kick out of that. That's awesome. Okay. We have... <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So we have the oven glove. And this is, of course, model after Nintendo's Power Glove. Um, if you're too young to see that, go look it up. It's the most awesome, useless thing ever. And as a matter of fact, I have one. It's in my shop uh, that I may use for a, uh, a LARP that I participate in at some point. But this is amazing. I love that. <laughs> All right. And we have Coffee Mug. A glow-in-the-dark Batman coffee mug. <laughs> Love it. That's also going to go to work because, yeah. And then we have the Nerd Block February uh, item, which had the exclusive Deadpool uh, plush. I guess apparently you could have gotten the variant, which would have been the uh, the white one, which that would have been cool. But uh, I like the red one. That's uh, that's all right. And of course, it gives you a little info on the other stuff. And you know, there's the T-shirt and the one. Okay, awesome. Awesome. And we have, uh, let's see what this is. This is, uh, this March Nerd Block Classic will have a hero exclusive from Batman vs. Superman, Game of Thrones, the Karate Kid. Why on earth is the Karate Kid? 
<laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll see what that's like. Now then, let's move on to the other one. Move that away, and we have the horror block. Okay, so I, I love horror movies. I always have. Um, I, I, I'm very particular about horror movies, about what I like and what I want to watch. Um, I have my my favorites, and then I have, you know, the campy, cheesy ones that we all watch that, uh, you know, you just can't not watch enough. Like, I think my favorite campy, cheesy one that I watch if I see it on TV right now is probably uh, Cabin in the Woods. Which, if you haven't seen it, it's it's a great horror flick. Um, it's uh, it, it's kind of an homage to all of the slasher slash. It's pretty much an homage to all horror flicks of the past. It, it's a unique storyline, and it calls upon the uh, Cthulhu mythos in a way, which I you know I love the that because we we've been hard pressed for a good Cthulhu mythos movie for a long time. Um, you know, Dagon was not too bad. Uh, there really hasn't been a fantastic Call of Cthulhu movie, uh, unfortunately. Um, one of my favorites, of course, uh, for that kind of genre is um, John Carpenter's In the Mouth of Madness, which a lot of people don't know about that movie. But uh, it's it's great. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you have the opportunity, uh, watch that. It's it's a great film that you know pays homage to... Uh, to the Cthulhu mythos, and uh, you know it's it, it's an excellent flick. As a matter of fact, it's one of the few horror movies that actually my wife is uh, gets scared at because it doesn't follow the the normal tropes. It doesn't follow the normal routines. Anyway, I could wax philosophic on that for a long time. Let's go ahead and move, look into the box. So right off the bat, we have a T-shirt, and speaking of all the horror. Look at that. That is amazing. I am digging that. You know, I don't typically wear red t-shirts, but I am going to wear the crap out of this shirt. That's that's awesome. That's excellent. All right, let's see what else we got. We have... <laughs> So I have a Jason Voorhees plush. And I see him fighting Deadpool in the future on my desk at work. Uh, that's that's awesome. All right, we have Bitten. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is a werewolf story series. Yeah, female werewolf. Yeah, okay, all right, so... That's cool. Uh, I've never read the story. I've never read this. I, I, I love to read, and I read a, a great deal. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm finishing up uh, the the hard sci-fi fear saga right now, which uh, if you've ever if you've ever seen it, it's pretty good. Anyway, I'll let you know how this is. Uh, I'll put it in my queue, so to speak. Uh, I have lots of things I read. Okay, next we have. Uh, the Horror Block Presents Horror Block Short Film Festival 2015. And uh, Association Rue Morgue. Oh, awesome. Oh. Uh, I recommend from your true audience. Well, I wonder why. All right. Oh, that's great. I know what I'm going to be watching sometime soon. I'll get the wife to watch it with me. Yeah, I'll open the wine and put the little wine stopper from the Nerd Block in there. <laughs> That's great. I, I love short films. Um, my wife and I actually talked about doing a couple of short films. She's a, a writer, and I, I'm 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 trying uh, at, for lots of long time. But eventually, you know, I'll write something that I like. All right, let's see what else we have. Come play with it. Oh my God, that's the that's the twins off The Shining, and it's autographed. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lisa and Louise Burns Certificate of Authenticity That is too cool oh, That's getting framed Right on Alright, let's see what else we got here We have Oh, Remorg We have the January, February 2016 er, Issue of Remorg Magazine I've checked these out sometimes I, I wouldn't say I read them real careful Because you know, I'm not that into the genre, so to speak, but that's that's cool. That's very cool. 
And then we have uh, I Love My Nerd Block. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is just a little, little card. Oh, see, here you go. This shows you all the things. So they have, you know, Nerd Block, Arcade Block, Horror Block, uh, Comic Block, Sci-Fi Block, and Nerd Block Jr. Okay, so one... They don't have an anime. Maybe I'm thinking of... I guess I'm thinking of um, Loot Crate's anime box, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so, yeah. I'm really happy with this. This is awesome. The t-shirts are behind me. I kind of tossed them out of the way. T-shirts have a hand, have a chance. They, they kind of get in the way after a minute. That is amazing. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you going through these boxes with me. And um, we'll see you later.